Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 2nd, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day Grudges We had to see that every time we played the big shot, we turned people against us. We had to see that when we harbored grudges and planned revenge for such defeats, we were really hitting ourselves with the club of anger we had intended to use on others. We learned that if we were seriously disturbed, our first need was to quiet that disturbance, regardless of who or what we thought caused it. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 47. Thought to Consider. Anger is the hot wind that extinguishes the light of reason. Acronyms. Anger. Any no good energy rising. Just for today. The right to be wrong tradition for. Each group should be autonomous except in matters affecting other groups or AA as a whole. This meant, of course, that we had been given the courage to declare each AA group an individual entity, strictly reliant on its own conscience as a guide to action. In charting this enormous expansion of freedom, we found it necessary to post only two storm signals. A group ought not do anything which would greatly injure AA as a whole, nor ought it affiliate itself with anything or anybody else. There would be real danger should we commence to call some groups wet, others dry, still others Republican or Communist, and yet others Catholic or Protestant. The AA group would have to stick to its course or be hopelessly lost. Sobriety had to be its sole objective. In all other respects, there was perfect freedom of will and action. Every group had the right to be wrong. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 147. Daily Reflections Finding a Reason to Believe The willingness to grow is the essence of all spiritual development. As Bill sees it, page 171. A line from a song goes, And I look to find a reason to believe. It reminds me that at one time I was not able to find a reason to believe that my life was all right. Even though my life had been saved by my coming to AA, three months later I went out and drank again. Someone told me, you don't have to believe. Aren't you willing to believe that there is a reason for your life, even though you may not know yourself what the reason is, or that you may not sometimes know the right way to behave? When I saw how willing I was to believe there was a reason for my life, then I could start to work on the steps. Now when I begin with, I am willing, I am using the key that leads to action, honesty, and an openness to a higher power moving through my life. As Bill sees it, single-handed combat. Few indeed are those who, assailed by the tyrant alcohol, have ever won through in single-handed combat. It is a statistical fact that alcoholics almost never recover on their personal resources alone. Way up toward Point Barrow in Alaska, a couple of prospectors got themselves a cabin and a case of scotch. The weather turned bitter, 50 below, and they got so drunk they let the fire go out. Barely escaping death by freezing, one of them woke up in time to rekindle the fire. He was prowling around outside for fuel, and he looked into an empty oil drum filled with frozen water. Down in the ice cake, he saw a reddish-yellow object. When thought out, it was seen to be an AA book. One of the pair read the book and sobered up. Legend has it that he became the founder of one of our farthest north groups. 12 and 12, page 22, AA Comes of Age, page 82, 83. Big book quote. Once more, the alcoholic at certain times has no effective mental defense against the first drink. Except in a few rare cases, neither he nor any other human being can provide such a defense. His defense must come from a higher power. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. More about alcoholism, page 43. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. 
outline the program of action to new prospects, explaining how you made a self-appraisal, how you straightened out your past, and why you are now endeavoring to help them. It is important for them to realize that your attempt to pass this on to them plays a vital part in your own recovery. The more hopeless they feel, the better. They will be more likely to follow your suggestions. Tell them about the fellowship of AA, and if they show interest, lend them a copy of the big book. Can I tell the AA story to another alcoholic? Meditation for the day. You should try to stand aside and let God work through you. You should try not to block him off by your own efforts or prevent his spirit working through you. God desires your obedient service and your loyalty to the ideals of the new life you are seeking. If you are loyal to God, he will give you protection against mistakes. His spirit will plan for you and secure for you a sufficiency of all spiritual help. You will have true victory and real success if you will put yourself in the background and let God work through you. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not interfere with the working of God's Spirit in me and through me. I pray that I may give it full reign. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.